Hallelujah. Rosie, over to you. Rosie. Well, welcome everyone. Happy Australia Day. Happy Australia Day. <laughs> to my fellow Aussies. Fantastic. Well, I'm just asked to do the welcome. Oh, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. 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 Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Still in good form. I love it. Very good. Well, I just want to, oh, we've been asked to give the welcome today, so I just want to express on behalf of Apostle Prophet Pastor Daniel Maurice Nalaya and the leadership team here at Reformation Harvest Fire Ministries, you are most welcome. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land, the Bunurong and Wurundjeri people, and pay respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Also, I'd like to acknowledge the pastors in our president. We thank you very much for coming here today. I, I don't want to get anyone's names wrong, but I'll, I'll start. Pastor Blase, Pastor Konachevsky, Pastor Zhung Ru, I got it right, Pastor Chi, Pastor Ben Respicio, and of course I've all, or also mentioned Pastor uh, Daniel Nalaya. Any other pastors I've forgotten? Pastor Norm Baker, we acknowledge you. Pastor Kalamasia, thank you, from Queensland, so she come the farthest, I think. Give a clap. Thank you very much, Pastor, for coming. Any other pastors? Thank you very much. Pastor Odessa? Pa yes. Oh, Pastor Maurice, of course. Sorry, yes, of course, definitely. Thank you very much. Um, so and, and, uh, anyone new here for the very first time? I think there's Nick at the back. Welcome, Nick. And yourself, man. What's your name? Marina. Welcome, Marina. Marina. Thank you. Anyone else? Well, thank you very much. It's been a one year. It's been a long time that we come here last year, and and what a year it's been. So, I just want to um, a lot's changed for me in that year. But I, what I will do is on behalf of myself, who is a citizen, a ratepay, and a resident of the Casey Cardini region, and a, and a citizen of the heaven of the kingdom of God. I would like to welcome you here today, if I could say that. <laughs> That'd be the best thing. Very good. Well, um, I will go into the national anthem in a little, in a little bit, but I just uh, want to express um, from our church to yours, from our family to yours, God bless you, and I just hope that you enjoy today's prayer. It's going to be a great gathering of God's people, uh, a gathering of the church, and um, we are going to shake heavens and shake the earth with our prayers today. More than ever, I'm sure our faith has grown in this last grown in this last year. So I just look forward to today's prayer. And you're standing in open heaven. I'm telling you, this place has open heaven. So expect to feel the Holy Spirit. And we just so happen to be in the great south land of the Holy Spirit. So there you go. So if you would like to join, first of all, before I do the national anthem, I'd like to invite Pastor John Chi to do the prayer. Thank you. Opening prayer. Thanks. Thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you, Father, for this day, this day that you have given us, Father, Australia Day. You have given this nation, Australia, Father, Australia for Jesus, we declare. Australia for Jesus. Thank you, Father, in the name of Yeshua Mashiach. We thank you, Father, for your blessings on, upon each and every one of us, upon the church leaders here, Lord. In the name of Jesus, upon all the worshippers, Father. As we worship you, Father, have your way, Lord Jesus. Have your way. Whatever you do today, let it be from the Holy Spirit. We just thank you, Father. We ask for a blessing for each and every one of us here. In the name of Yeshua Mashiach, the name that's above every name. Amen. Amen. Pastor, thank you very much. Are you ready? We're going to sing the Australian National Anthem. Okay, so we're going to sing the first verse of the National Anthem and then we're going to sing the Christian verse. So see, watch the words um, above. Okay, thanks, Pastor Ben. Australians, all oh, let us rejoice For we are one and free With golden soil and well Page 
stage Advance Australia Fair In joyful strains Then let us sing Advance Australia Fair Christ our head and cornerstone will build our nation's mind whose way and truth and light alone can guide our path the right our lives a sacrifice of like to welcome Apostle Prophet Pastor Daniel Maurice, uh, sorry, Pastor Prophet Daniel and Eli to attend. Oh, we'll go straight into the worship songs. Thank you, Pastor Ben. Praise the Lord. Let this be our prayer this evening in Psalms 84 says, Hear our prayer, O Lord God Almighty. Come bless our land as we seek and as we worship you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Praise God. Hallelujah. How great is our God? Is our God great? Yes. Can I have a bit more mic, please? Not loud. Can you hear me? Yes. Great. Is our God great? Yes. Come on, not loud enough. Is our God great? Yes. Praise God. Take your seats right now. I'm going to call on Pastor Ben to come and read Psalms 91. Psalm 91 for us. It's a prayer over our nation and the nations. the scriptures, Psalms 91. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And this I declare about the Lord, and He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust Him. For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrows that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. And though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, this evil will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. And they will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Where's the other mic? Other mic. Okay. Praise God. That's all right. I'm going to call on Pastor Alex to come and pray for Australia. Can you all stand as we pray for Australia? It's my privilege to pray for Australia. Um, but ever since uh, Pastor Danny came to our church down in Hobart. And I remember one of the services some years ago where um, those who were born in, out of Australia would have to raise their hand. And it was, the, it was most of them, including me. And I'm thinking, God's brought us all here for a purpose. And part of that purpose is our ongoing life in Christ, but part of that purpose is also to be a blessing to our land because land is only transformed and nations only transformed through, uh, through Christ and people bearing witness to Christ. No transformation apart from people tra being transformed and being vehicles of transformation. And so when I'm praying for Australia today, it's praying for us as, a, as God's people to be raised up 
and not, and not just continuing as is, because what we've done at the moment is, is not enough. Okay? We're not seeing our nation transformed. All right? and we're actually seeing deterioration, and at that point, somehow our light's not shining, or, or we're, we're not that preserving influence that God desires us to be. And part of it is sometimes we live in a very individualistic society, which is just as long as I'm getting by, it's okay. No, it, we, we, our lives have got to touch other people's lives and we've got to be disciple makers and not just, hey, as long as I'm okay and I've got the peace of God, that's okay. No, if I'm seeing people who are go, going to hell, people who are lost, then I need to be doing something about it, praying, reaching out, getting out of my comfort zone. And so as, as God's people, I'm, I'm praying that, uh, <laughs> started the already, that, <laughs> that God would, would set us on fire. Lord, we've just done with just being lukewarm, just being complacent people. Lord, we, we want to be those who are, whose hearts are set on fire with passion for you, Lord Jesus, a passion that just overflows, Lord, that out of the overflow of our hearts, our mouths might speak of you and the, the, your greatness and the way in which you're able to transform people's lives, eh? able to give a peace that passes all understanding, a joy unspeakable, a love that just bears with all things, believes all things and hopes all things. And Father God, we've all tasted something of what your son Jesus has done for us. But you, Lord, you don't want us to stay in that same place. You want us to go on because there's always more. You're such a great God. And, and Lord, there's so much more that we need to discover about you. And Lord, so where the passion, where our passion for you, Lord Jesus, is dimmed, Lord, not just us in this building, but Lord, across this nation where our passion is dim. Lord, set our hearts on fire. Lord, renew our first love for you, Lord. Renew our first love for you. Lord, it's only when we're on fire that we can set other people on fire. Lord, so renew our first passion for you. Lord, whatever it takes, Lord, we don't know. But Lord, we thank you. Your grace is sufficient. Lord, we can hide behind our weaknesses, our past failures. But Lord, the reality is, Lord, you can do great and marvellous things through people who are just yielded to you. Lord, it's not, that our, it's not our strength that counts. It's your strength and your power and your love. So, Lord, we make ourselves available to you, Lord, in a fresh way tonight, Lord. It's got to start somewhere and with, with us in this building and, Lord, others who are praying for this nation at this time. We thank you, Lord, that part of the reason that the nation hasn't gone far, dropped away a bit, is because so many prayers that you've actually raised up over this nation. And Lord, just kindle our prayers and the prayers of people meeting together around this nation at this time. Lord, your word says that you're looking for an intercessor. You're looking for people who are available for you to pray your prayers through to release, Lord, what you desire. Lord, help us to be people who are available to you, Lord, who in the midst of the distractions of life are able to take time away and, 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 and spend time in your presence and be available to you to release those prayers that transform our nation, Lord. Help us to be a people known for our prayer, not just for our wealth or, or whatever, Lord. That we are a people of prayer, a people who are available to you, who, 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 who we are vehicles, Lord, to see you transform this nation. Lord, you've, you've given that prophetic um, utterance that by Smith Wigglesworth, uh, no, uh, the Portree's sea captain, that said, the great south land of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we haven't, we've seen it in part, but Lord, we recognize there's so much more. And Lord, help us to be those who persevere and don't give up. Lord, we can see so many things that aren't, aren't too good. But Lord, your word encourages us to persevere in hope. And it's not those who persevere in hope with faith. Lord, we'll see your answers. We'll see what you desire for this nation. And so, Lord, release that perseverance. And Lord, that hope, Lord, there's so much negativity in our society. But Lord, help us to be a people of hope that people might say, hey, how come you can be smiling in the midst of all this stuff that's going on? Because I know my God can transform this thing. I know my God keeps me and he can keep you as well. Lord, so help us to bear testimony to you, Lord, we pray. Lord, pour out your spirit upon this nation in a way that's never been done before. Lord, we thank you for little revivals that have happened in our past. But we say, do it again and more, more, Lord, more of you, more of your spirit poured out on your people. Lord, we can't do it apart from you. Pour out your spirit, Lord, your, your spirit that's just able to transform, Lord. Lord, that's the heart, that's how I hear our hearts cry, to, for your, a fresh outpouring of your spirit in, in a wider way. Lord, we've seen these local revivals, we've heard of them, 
But Lord, we say more. The nation needs more. And Lord, your heart for the nation, Lord, you, you desire blessing more than we do. And Lord, we recognise the political power is not enough. Lord, we pray for our leaders. Yes, Lord, uphold them, uphold the Christians. But we know the political solutions aren't going to change our nation. Lord, it's, it's your people who will transform this nation. So Lord, just raise up your people. And Lord, let, let there just be that revival that transforms people's lives, that transforms their hearts, Lord, that we might be, in a sense, your disciples and, and help other people to be discipled by you. Lord, hear the cry of our hearts, we pray. Australia for Jesus! Australia for Jesus! Australia for Jesus! Thank you, Pastor Alex. Thank you, you may be seated. Pastor Alex, I went to past, met Pastor Alex in 2000, 20 years ago, when a long time ago, the whole world. Yes, amen, amen. So we are going to play a video clip now. The Great Southern of the Holy Spirit, we are going to sing that song. This is our nation. This is our land, this is our future, this is our home, a land of reaping, a land of harvest, this is our land, this is our home, this is the great south land of the whole. A land of red dust plains and summer rains To this sunburned land we will see a flood And to this great south land the spirit comes This is our nation this is our land, this land of plenty, this land of hope, the richest harvest is in her peoples, we see revival, this spirit comes, this is the great south land of the whole
Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Ose, ose, ose. 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 Ose, ose, ose. Praise God. Praise God. I want to call on Pastor John Blase to come and lead us in prayer for the nations right now. You may be seated as Pastor John Blase. Let us pray. Can you all hear me? Good. Let's pray. Almighty Father God, you are timeless, you are eternal, you are the Father of all nations. Lord, at this time, we pray for your compassion upon this world, a world torn by pandemics and many natural disasters all over the place, people hostile to each other, people hurting. We pray for the many who are being imprisoned and martyred and persecuted for your name's sake. And so, Lord, we bring to you the nations of this world, all the different cultures and the languages, all with many different religions. And yet, you love them all, you would have them become people of your own flock. So, Father God, at this time of great change, of great pain around this little globe, which is so small for you in all its eternity and the in endless infinite spaces that we are living in, right through the universe. Yet, Lord, you made man in your own image. We are so special for you, Lord, and we give you praise and thanks for that. And so, Lord, at this time, we bring the nations of the world before you. We think at this time of the hurt, the corruption, and the pain in the United States. We pray for the president, the president who has been, the president that is coming in. We pray for honesty and integrity. We pray for those in power, that they might be also those who care. Lord, it was not so long ago that we saw the United States as a country with a model of Christianity and faith in your word. And so, Lord, we pray for it. We pray for other nations, too, around the Americas, Canada and South America. We thank you for the people of faith in each of those countries. And we pray for those who have no faith. Those who see no purpose in life. We pray for all the generations that there are there. And all their history. All their traditions. Yet, Lord, you are the one that's been there with them right throughout history. You are the one that separated us so long ago when you destroyed the Tower of Babel and made us all have different languages. Lord, we pray too for the people in Europe, especially those who are suffering from the pandemic, those who lost their jobs and their lives, lost their vision, lost their hope, We pray for those in countries that have been allies of ours for many years, for the United Kingdom. We pray for those in France and Italy, in Spain, in all the countries of Middle Europe. We pray too for those people in the great continent of South Africa, 
a land of many nations and many cultures and many languages. We give you thanks that you are being glorified in many of those nations and even though some might not know you that you might make yourself known for the, to them. We pray for them, O oh Lord. We pray also for the people up in the north and in the south. We pray for the vast continent of Asia. We pray for India and China and Japan and Vietnam and Korea and Myanmar. We pray for Sri Lanka. Lord, many of these might have governments that perhaps are forcing people to look the other way. Governments which are often corrupted by the prince of lies, Satan, that's leading them astray. And we pray, O oh Lord, that your Holy Spirit might change those things. And those, children, those people in those countries who are persecuted for their faith, we pray that you might be with them. And Lord, we pray for the people of the Middle East, people who have a different faith and a different understanding. So we pray, O oh Lord, for the Buddhists, the Hindus, the Muslims, and all the very many religions that there are, that they might know the truth. We pray that they might hear your word. Lord, protect your word as it goes out to the world, even to the farthest islands of the Pacific. We pray, O oh Lord, for all these people, and we pray for the generations to come. And Lord, as people of faith, help us to love them all, to have a hope for the future. And so, Lord, we pray for the young people, especially the children of the world. And we bring them before you and ask for your compassion. We pray this thing in the name of our great Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. But before we finish, I want to share with you something. When I was a little boy in school, I, or even before school, I learned a little song, which I've always remembered and cherished. I don't know if I can remember it, but if you do know it, and I want to try to sing it, uh, I ask you to join me in singing it. It's, Jesus died for all the children, all the children of the world. Black and yellow, brown and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus died for all the children in the world. Just once more. Jesus died for all the children, all the children of the world. Black and yellow, brown and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus died for all the children of the world. We must not forget not only the children of the world and their future and have hope in them, but we also need to pray for those children that are yet unborn who might be killed before birth. So can we have a, just a moment of prayer? Yes. Can we have a moment of prayer where we can really bring those unborn children and their parents to an understanding of what life is about? It's not black lives that matter or white lives that matter or any kind of color, but it's what unborn lives matter too. Lives matter. We are precious lives that God has given to us. Let us pray for them. And I'm going to ask you to pray this for a moment in silence. And then I will find, find, find it in the prayer. Lord, we pray for those who do not understand, who have abortions. We pray for the doctors who are in some cases even forced into carrying out abortions. We pray for people who are not able to advise, are not allowed to advise people to not have them. We pray for mothers and fathers. And Lord, we bring those unborn children before you. We pray that some of them might yet come into this world alive 
and come to know you as their Lord and Savior, and so that the world might be changed for your sake. And we give you these people with our hearts that ache and go out to them in their pain, to the mothers who sometimes hurt after they've done the wrong thing. And they do not know what they're doing, and they haven't got the advice or the people that will support them. Lord, we pray for those people that support those parents and those who will look after children that have no parents. And we pray these things for all the children all over the world, those suffering from starvation, from child slavery and abuse. We ask that you put your protective armor around them, enable them to come to know you and to have your spirit within them that they might indeed be your people even as you wish them to be. And we pray these things in the mighty name of Jesus, our, Lady, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you, Pastor John. Worship team, can you come up, worship team? While well, worship team is getting ready, Yvonne will share with us. Well, f how many years? 1,400 years? No, 400 years ago. 1606. There's a Portuguese explorer who prophesied over Australia. Why do you want to read this and then read this in the Lord's Prayer? First of all, hello everybody. <laughs> awesome to see such a grateful house even though we are separated. I just want to give thanks first for um, our wonderful nation of Australia. Let's um, all be upright uh, to say the Lord's Prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I'm just going to read now um, a declaration, actually, by this uh, naval captain, um, Portuguese naval captain, and he was also a navigator. And uh, he made this declaration over Australia. First of all, I'd just like to say there's a little bit of um, misunderstanding about the declaration that um, Captain Pedro Fernandes de Quiros made because most people have been told or been led to believe that he was actually on the island of Santo, which is in the South, South Pacific. But I've done quite a bit of research on this and uh, original documents, which are now in the Melbourne Geographical Society, and um, part of the Catholic University Library, I believe, but it's definitely in the hands of um, the Catholic um, Library. And um, he has a doc there are documents there that are written by people that were actually uh, on that particular ship uh, with um, de Quiros. And uh, the saying and describing the land that he discovered. And by no means it was an island because he describes this as being, you know, um, inco incorporating uh, Europe um, and part of Russia. And he also describes the, the uh, marine life around the area. He describes the marble. He describes the, the great big rivers that come into this huge bay, which actually weren't, any, weren't anything like the Isle of Santos. Now, why I'm saying this is uh, because... It's very important to know that this word, this word that he said, he was actually in Australian territory. He was actually, he actually walked on Australian land. He put his feet on the soil of Australia and he declared these words. And it's really important when we put our feet 
on a place. And we, the, the Bible tells us that we can claim the places that we walk, the places that we tread, the places that we walk on, we can declare that they, they are God's land. And so it's powerful when we pray and understand this, this prayer. It's powerful to know that he actually was on the land. He wasn't, didn't do it from some far off island in the, in the South Pacific. So if anyone wants the information, I have it all. They can see me afterwards. So this is, the, this is what he said. It's called La Australia del Espíritu Santo. The Great Southland of the Holy Spirit. Actually, it says it's the great... It's not the great. It says Southland of the Holy Spirit. But uh, I think it was um, the, uh, uh, the songwriter that added the great in there. Uh, let the heavens, the earth, the waters with their creatures and all those here present witness that I, Captain Pedro Fernandez de Quiros, in the name of Jesus Christ, hoist this emblem of the Holy Cross on which his, Jesus Christ's person was crucified and whereon he gave his life for the ransom and remedy of all the human race on this day of Pentecost, 14th of May, 1606, I take possession of all this part of the south as far as the pole in the name of Jesus. Hooray! Hallelujah! Which from now on shall be called the southern land of the Holy Ghost. And this always and forever and to the end that to all natives in all the said lands the holy and sacred evangel may be preached zealously and openly. Hallelujah. Isn't that awesome? Thank you, Lord. And we declare that to be so in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In 1995, when I first came to Australia, I was at a breakfast with Pastor Brian Houston and them. I, up, up in the Sydney Rotating Tower. How many of you know the Rotating Tower, Sydney? Yeah. And then I heard them sing this song, Great Southland of the Holy Spirit. Something happened in my heart that day. Seeds were deposited in my heart which had never gone off. I love that song and I love this land. Praise God. It's just wonderful to know that a nation, I don't know of any other nation, has been called Southland of the Holy Spirit. This land. Australia has a destiny. We have a purpose and a plan. Praise God. Awesome, awesome. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There's Pastor John. Show for man is missing. Okay. That's all right. Thank you for being seated. Praise God. Patricia Tan, would you come and pray for Israel? Worship team, stay up. Worship team, you want to sing after this again? Say that Welcome everybody. We're going to pray for Israel. There's quite a few of the people who went to Israel with us for a couple of times. They are here. We just want to welcome them. And uh, they went to Israel some twice, some a few times. I went six times. So, yeah. <laughs> so Father God, Lord, we thank you for this day, the beautiful day for for Australia, the national. Uh, prayer day. So Father God, we want to pray, bring Israel before you and do a national prayer for the country of Israel. And we want to read Psalm 122, written by King David. He was not able to build the house because you have chosen King Solomon to build the house. But he prepared everything and his heart was towards the temple every day. He was so in love with God and loving God and the temple he said, I was glad when they said unto me, Let's go to the house of the Lord Yahweh. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord Yahweh. Unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For they are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the shalom of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Shalom be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, 
I will now say, Shalom be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord Yahweh our God, I will seek thy good. So, Father God, Lord, we just thank you, Father God, that you are the maker, you are the builder of Israel. You have brought millions of immigrants back to Israel. All the nations are now gathered in Israel. It's the sign of the end of days that when, it is, when everything is ready, Lord, the Lord Jesus is going to come down. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And Jerusalem is your footstool. It is the place where originally when the Ark of Covenant was there, the angels night and day say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. So Father God, Lord, we are coming to a place now, Lord, when Jesus comes back. You are building this nation, Father God, and you are the one that gives it peace and protection. We pray for your protection. We pray for your blood covering. We pray for the prosperity, peace, Lord, of, of Israel and Jerusalem. And Lord, we pray, Father God, for the government. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his team, they will go through an election on the 23rd of March. We pray for your favor. We pray for your words and wisdom. We pray for your peace, Lord, and that they would have a smooth election, Father God, and that victory, Father God, is in the name of Yeshua. You have put someone there, Lord, that will eventually build the temple in Israel. Father God, Lord, we are, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. We know that. But they are yet to know the Lord Jesus Christ for their temple, for some of them, many of them, it's still the, the, the like, King Solomon's temple on the Temple Mount. But Father God, we don't know when this is going to be, but we know that they are also having the Levitical priesthood being prepared. All the furniture of the old temple stall is being prepared until the day they know Yeshua where this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Father God, we do pray for them because we do go through all these stages before we see Yeshua. And Lord, we claim the nation for you. We declare Jesus as Lord and King over Israel. You are the Lord of hosts. Father God, Lord, we just thank you, Father God, for the souls of the nation of Israel. We pray for the Holocaust survivors, the elderly, Father God, that are going to the soup kitchen. There are many of them that are being given food and bread and biscuits in these soup kitchens. And Lord, many of them hear the gospel and are receiving your word. And in this time of lockdown, Father God, millions have heard your word through the videos and the, and the online media. So, Father God, Lord, we thank you for this season, Father God, that many people are hearing the church that was in a closed door, that the people don't know how to get there. They are getting it in their homes. Father God, Lord, what a season of, of great evangelism, Father God, at the mountains of the Mount of Olives, Father God, they are hearing these words. And the youth in Israel, they are singing from the mountains of Israel. So, Father God, we thank you, Father, Father God, for this season. We, we thank you for a good uh, harvest ahead, Lord, when you are preparing the nation. And for those who have not heard, we prepare for their, we ask for their hearts to be prepared, Father God. And we do also repent for the nation, for the wars, for the unrest, for the soldiers. We pray for long lives for the soldiers. The youth of the nation are the soldiers. We pray, Father God, for your blessing upon them. And Lord, we pray for your um, agricultural increases, the food and everything that is provided for them at this time because tourism is not very strong at the moment and unemployment is high. We pray for good uh, employment. So we pray for the agriculture of the land. Father God, the crops that are feeding the people in the land because God gave manna in the desert. God can still feed. doesn't matter how good the people are preparing for these times. God is the provider for all things. So Father God, we thank you for this season. We thank you for Israel. Father God, we give you all the glory and praise that you fill this land, Father God, with your Holy Spirit. You fill this land with your fire. You fill this land, Lord, with your angels and draw the people unto yourself. Father God, we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's all stand and sing Amazing Grace.
Praise God, praise God. Praise God, 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 praise God. to Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. With a lot of love for him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You may take your seats. I'm going to call on Pastor Imelda to come and pray for families right now. As you know, there's a big attack on families. How many of you know that? Families are attacked. Yeah? We need to pray that God will protect our Christian families, but also all families should be protected first of all thank you jesus let us pray we thank you lord for australia oh god a nation for which christ is the cornerstone a nation that is built on christian faith a nation that is great a nation that is strong oh lord god the basis of a strong na nation is a strong states the basis of a strong state is a strong community and the basis of a strong community is a strong family father we just commend to you to your care oh lord god the families oh lord god in our congregation in our community oh lord god and even all around australia and around the, the nation oh lord god father we plead oh lord god we pray for every family oh lord god that would always be submitted to you oh lord god and would make you as the chief builder and builder and protector, O Lord God. Lord, you have created our families to be a holy unit, O Lord God. And I pray, O Lord God, that you continue to guide our families, O Lord God, that you continue to protect our families, O Lord God, from the works of the evil one, O Lord God. Father, we plead for revival in our marriages and for a strong godly families in our church to be a living reality, O Lord God. And I pray that for every marriage, a holy covenant to be treasured and to be nurtured, O oh God. Lord, may our homes be a place for living in the light of God's love and for daily practicing our Christian faith. We thank you, Lord God, for your commandments to love you, to honor you, O oh Lord God, to love others, O oh Lord God, and help us to always remember your words and to demonstrate love in our homes and even in our communities. Father, may our families love each other with a deep, unconditional love. Remove anything that, that might hinder us from loving each other. Father, we pray, O oh Lord God, to release a spirit of prayer in our families, that we may be able to rejoice always, to pray continually and give thanks in everything, O oh Lord God, that you have blessed us with. Lord, we pray that our church families will also introduce others to Jesus, to be witnesses for Christ, both with our lives and, not, and also with our lips. Lord, I pray that you protect our families from the enemy and help us to put on the full armor of God so that we can stand against the devil's attack. Lord, I pray for protection, for good health provisions, and guidance and leading of your Holy Spirit on each and every family that is represented right here tonight, oh God. Lord, 
Help us to be able to live a life that is worthy of your calling. May your love, your joy, your peace always abound in each and every family. Lord, I pray that every family would commit, O oh Lord God, to what Joshua has declared, that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Let it be the declaration of every Christian family tonight, O oh Lord God, and that will be for your own glory and honor, O oh God. Lord, may you continue to be the chief cornerstone of every family represented here tonight, O oh God. And we thank you for your faithfulness to our families, to our nation, Australia. Lord, glory and honor belongs to you alone as we give you praise in your son's name, Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise God. Amen. I just want to do something. Just feel prompted to do this. Uh, can I have? We have um, so I know so so many people are here from so many different countries. So let's get one of each person to come up to the front. Peter, can you come and stand here for Sudan? Pastor John, Malaysia, Rosie, Australia, uh, Tana, from Vietnam. Uh, who else? Shan, come for Sri Lanka. Pastor Alex, representing Ukraine, yeah. Pakistan, India, someone from India? Come on, quickly, yes. Clayton, uh, Gail, from Singapore. Who else, who are not called uh, Hungary? Eva. You see that? And that. Sam. Sev. Greece. Who else? Philippines. Oh, yes. Who's coming for the Philippines? Odessa. Odessa. John, England. Come up. John. Anyone else that I missed out? Yes. South America, come. Sister, you're from Sudan? I'm from Sudan? Okay, sir. South Sudan. South Sudan, come up. North Sudan. Anyone else that I missed out? Greece, we have Greece, have it. Cyprus, yes. Okay. Anyone I missed out? No? China here? China? Anyone from China? No. Praise God. Praise God. Can you, can you join hands? Can you all stand? Can we join hands? Pastor Alex, put your hand on my shoulder. Mauritius. Who is from Mauritius? Ah, Marina. Come up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. This is, this is truly the United Nations. This is the United Nations. Amen. How many are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, 17, is it? 19, about 20 nations. This is wonderful. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 21. Okay. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Say this with me. As for me and my house, As for me and my house we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Kura bara bakatia. Pray in tongues. Shanta rabari kianta. Kura bara karianta rabori kianta. Yanta rabora karabashi karabashanta. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ora bara karabashanta. Tian karabari anta rabari anta. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. 
We praise you, O God. We praise you, O God. We exalt your name, O God. We exalt your name. Father, we pray, Lord, for the nations. Father, as the nations are coming to Australia, Father, this decade is going to be a decade of people going out with the word of God back to their home countries, Lord. I pray, Lord, that there will be a mighty harvest this 10 years, Lord. There will be a harvest will come into the kingdom of God. Father, you showed me in 2000. You gave me a vision, Lord. I saw many international airports in Australia, packed with different colored Australians, leaving the country, taking the Bibles in their own language to preach the word of God in their own homelands. Father, we thank you for the harvest which is coming these 10 years. Father, we call on everyone, Lord, to be a harvester for the kingdom of God. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your anointing in this place. Pray that you go back with us, Lord. You son, the extension of thy kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Amen. Okay, you may go back to your seats. Thank you. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided. To follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The cross before me, the world behind me. The cross before. No turning back, no turning back. Don't not go with me, still I will follow. Don't not go with me, still I will follow. Don't not go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. No turning back, no turning back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Pastor Desa, can you come and close in prayer? Pastor Desa. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you are Lord of Australia and you are Lord in our hearts, Lord God. You are highly exalted above all else, and there is none like you. And as we close this celebration, O oh Lord God, of the Australia Day, thank you. We thank you for your mighty presence in our midst today. All glory belongs to you, Lord God. You are indeed awesome, awesome in our hearts, and awesome in this great south land of the Holy Spirit. We pray, Lord, that you will continue to bless this land. As we depart this place, we pray for your divine protection for everyone. And may God, who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above more than we could imagine, according to the power that works in us, to him all glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy Australia Day. Give thanks with a grateful